guys, thanks for coming back to us again. You can too here. Um, today I'm gonna make a, a butter chicken curry. It's, well, I say butter chicken, it's actually no butter chicken. It's a slim and well friendly meal. Originally the recipe was a butter chicken and I've changed it and altered it that much. It's completely unrecognizable. In, I've already roasted a whole chicken. I've stripped it down, taken all the bones out and that's just the meat left from the chicken. And that's just gonna go over there for now. In my pan, I've got some fry light. I'm just, this is gonna hiss, I apologize. Um, I'm just gonna throw a couple of medium onions, which I've chopped a medium chop. I don't want them too chunky, but I don't want them too sweaty. So that's gone in there. To that, I'm adding one red and one green pepper. Again, a medium chop. Always, all of the ingredients are up on the description so if you want to do this yourself at home then it's all there for you. In here I've got my, my usual thumb sized piece of ginger and I've got three very fat cloves of garlic, both of which I've grated down. I'm just going to throw those in, give it a good stir, make sure everything's well combined. Try not to get too much of the ginger or garlic on the bottom of the pan because it will stick a little bit and I'm only starting this off in here it will either finish off I'm going to do it in a slow cooker but if you want to do it in the oven you need your oven at about 150 degrees that's degrees centigrade obviously. I'm going to do this in the slow cooker though right happy with that as I say I'm not completely cooking it here I've got. Right, I'm not completely cooking it here because as I say it's going either in the slow cooker or the oven. So to my onions, pepper, ginger and garlic I'm adding a pint of stock. I've just got chicken stock there. Stir my chicken stock in. Next, I'm adding 100 grams of ground almonds. Again, available from any supermarket. These help to thicken it. They do give it flavour, but they help to thicken it and it will turn it into a really nice curry. It doesn't look much at the moment, but trust me. Because I'm on Slimming World, I'm adding a tablespoon of artificial sweetener. Um, if you'd rather not do that, you can add demerara sugar instead. Um, obviously it's going to, you're not going to taste, but you don't taste the artificial sweetener anyway. Next I'm going to add four cans of chopped tomatoes. I've got a can of reduced fat coconut milk here and that goes straight into, I always try and get as much as I possibly can out because I can't stand waste. Paying for it, you want it. So that's my can of coconut milk. Now I want a couple of tablespoons of tomato puree. Really good tablespoons. Don't skimp. Not expensive, and it will make a difference. Okay, to that little lot, I'm going to add, I've got extra hot chilli powder here. Adjust the seasoning to your taste. Don't just follow the recipe because that's what I've said, because some people like it hot, some people don't. You may like it hotter than us, so put more chilli in if that's the case. So that was one teaspoon of hot chilli powder. I'm gonna put two teaspoons of tandoori curry powder and two teaspoons of garam masala. I love this stuff, it smells absolutely gorgeous. Stirring my spices in. Make sure they're well combined, make sure everything is well mixed in. I'm just gonna put my chicken into my slow cooker. Whole lot, straight in. Loosen it up, mine's cooled down a bit, so 
it's sort of stuck together a bit, but that's only the goodness in the chicken sticking it together, it's fine. Okay, that sauce is ready to go in on top of the chicken. So turn the heat off. So my sauce is going in over my chicken. Get everything out of the pan. Oh, it's smelling lovely already. Now I'm just going to stir that in, mixing all the sauce in with all the chicken. I'm going to leave that in the slow cooker. I've got it on high heat. If you want to leave it all day on a low heat, that's fine. I've got it on a high heat. I'm going to leave it for about an hour to an hour and a half. I'll come back and check the chicken then. So after making the curry up, I put it into the slow cooker. Um, it's now been in the slow cooker for about two hours. I've had it on a high heat just to sort of get it going. And the idea is that you, you're cooking the chicken a little bit more, you're softening the chicken a little bit more, but you're letting the flavors merge into the chicken so that it really is good and yummy all the way through. And that is absolutely perfect. Now, you can leave it longer if you want, let the chicken disintegrate a bit more. Um, it's, it's fine like that though. And I will now serve that in the usual way. So that's my no butter chicken. I hope you enjoy it as much as we do because it really is one of our absolute favorites same as usual guys like and subscribe if possible please um, keep following us as I say we'll keep throwing as many recipes out there as you want if there's anything in particular you want please 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 just let me know and I'll happily do it thank you for watching and always remember you can too